Our commencement speaker for this year is, is a relatively young man who started out in art and really made his uh, claim to fame in technology. So he can say to the student group, you don't always have to know exactly what you're gonna do yeah. at 22 to be successful later in life. Totally. Welcome everyone to Coffee with the President. We're here at Eastern Michigan University. It is my honor, thank you. President thank you. Smith, this is awesome. This is gonna be a fantastic episode. I can't wait for you all to watch it. Where to start this conversation? I'm not sure there's so many awesome places to go, but I think inclusivity and community, you have these signs around campus, all are welcome here with students' faces on them. I would love to talk for you to talk to the audience about the importance of that and how that culture just seeps into the community here. Well, we've, we have a long history of doing this, Alex. We, many, many decades now where we have diverse, looked at diverse populations and said, we want them to be on our campus. We want diversity to be alive. So we recruit diversity locally and nationally and internationally. So we have students from 80 different countries, most semesters, sometimes a little higher, sometimes a little lower. And that creates a kind of a global classroom for us yeah. where students who may never travel to Thailand will see Thailand by having a friend, either in their classroom, maybe in their study group, maybe two dorm rooms down yeah. and enjoy that, uh, that opportunity to learn more. Yeah, yeah, the world needs that more. The world absolutely really needs it's, that and, more. You know, and, and what's fun in, in this episode, you know, we're gonna feature someone from Thailand. We're yes. gonna feature someone from Jordan. So um, you, you sense that, um, you feel that community spirit. Um, now, there's a lot of programs going on that's really just getting students ready for, it's like work ready, right? You know, and I'd love you to talk about that as well. We're gonna to touch upon it in the episode a lot, but I'd love to hear it from you and from your leadership of why that is so important. Well, people will generally think of that as like engineering and business only, but it really touches every one of our academic disciplines. What can we do to create internships? What can we create for summer learning opportunities. So you learn what our students call the real world, yeah, this, yeah, this being yeah. the ivory tower world. Mm -hmm. How do we connect that real world to what they're studying every day? Student teaching's always been a good example of that, but we have pre-student teaching activities now. Going out and studying how my curriculum fits with a classroom, with live kids doing live things yeah, yeah. in front of the young pre-service teacher. Yeah, it's so important to like mold what is, what it, and especially the speed at which the economy is moving, right. our society right. is moving. Right. So, you know, that connective tissue that you have within your community and the business, that, you know, the, the larger economy at large, right. um, and making sure that those students are just kind of ready to hit the ground running. And our employers want that. They want to have people that are career ready. Mm -hmm. You know, if I have experiences being an intern or pre-service in student teaching, or doing my clinicals in nursing, I'm more ready to step into that job mm -hmm. when I'm finished with my academic curriculum, when I have my certificate in hand and ready to go to work. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a gift. It yeah. is a gift. It's a gift. It it's a, a gift. gift. Now, there's a lot. We're looking out once again over you know this this, this beautiful area of campus here at the Funds. I see a new building pumping up here. There's a lot of new stuff being yes. like constructed. Do you want to talk about well, I, some of the new new happenings here on campus? I would love to talk about the new happenings on campus. We're building two new apartment style residence halls for our students. The one that's right over our shoulder will have 400 beds. We'll have just on the other side of campus, 300 beds, all brand new, high speed internet, air conditioning, which is critically important <laughs> students today. Yeah, yeah. Individualized bathroom facilities, their own shower rooms, the things that they want, we have tried to make come alive. And then we've remodeled all the other facilities on campus. So you will have virtually all new housing starting next year. Wow. Where it's come from. It is. It's, a, it's, it's, it's been a long time coming. Long, yeah, but I, it, it is amazing. I'm just thinking back of my college experience. I certainly did not have that. It will not be the residence hall that I had as an yeah, undergraduate. Totally. That's for sure. Yeah, totally. Absolutely. Um, you know, you, since we were back, before we were recording this, you seem fired up. And like you love your job. Here. I do. You were talking about that. I mean, it just seemed like you're, you, you're excited. Yeah. I've done this for a long time. And I think when you find your niche, you find your niche. And this has been the niche that, that I've always craved, working with students from around the globe, 
around the United States, some that are literally 10 miles from campus who choose to live on campus because they want that college experience. To see that all come together, it's not always easy. It's not always pretty. We have students that say, my God, what did I get into here? <laughs> and then two years later, you see them and they say, oh my gosh, what a rich experience I had. That makes it a lot of fun for a, for a right. university president. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I, we were, it was hard to narrow down the 10 students to feature in this episode. It really, really, really was. And, and with your team as we, but as you think about all the students here, you know, what are you most proud of them? I'm most proud. My favorite day is commencement. There's no question about it. I, I love the pomp and circumstance, but I love more that grandma's yelling in the audience, you know, <laughs> seven years of tuition I've been paying for with great excitement. We have a lot of fun at tuition, but what I'm most proud for or at commencement, having uh, been sponsored through tuition, I, I'm most proud of the fact that our students are going into that world of work. Mm -hmm. They found what they want to do and they get out into that world of work and then they come back and give back. Yeah. They mentor, they come back and do uh, young alumni sessions, which is critical for our other students to see. Yeah. You know, these people have gone on and they've done what I want to do. Yeah, connecting that tissue. Correct. Yeah, that's so good. Connecting the dots of A, B, and C. Uh, our commencement speaker for this year is is a relatively young man who started out in art and really made his uh, claim to fame in technology. So he can say to the student group, you don't always have to know exactly what you're going to do yeah. at 22 to be successful later in life. Totally. I, yeah. You know, I say that all the time. I mean, honestly, I didn't, what, I chose international business out of a hat. Right. Look at me, I'm ending up in the right. media world. So right. Exactly. You know, and I think that's what's so important about higher education and about right. the college experience right. at university. It is this time to figure things out. Exactly. Time to fail, time to meet new people, right. time to try new right. things. So you can, you know, just be ready to hit the ground running and ready to work and, and right. help guide that path. But the interesting thing is people that don't know your background, you took that understanding of international to do travel shows. Uh, exactly so you right. took what you yeah. knew in yeah. college yeah. and applied it to what you did later absolutely. in life. Absolutely. And students need to hear that and see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're not supposed to all have it figured out. None of us know, no. no. <laughs> even still. I probably huh? would never <laughs> have predicted that I'd be a college president. <laughs> yeah. I can almost assure yeah. you. I, I think that goes for yeah. probably 99% of adults. Correct. Results, right? Correct. Um, there's a lot, and I know you probably don't want to sit here and brag, but I want to brag for you. There's a lot of accolades, a lot of awards, a lot of achievements, a lot of national, international recognition. I'd love you to talk a little bit about that because I just think it's important and it's, uh, it's exciting. Well, the two, and thank you for that, the two that, that we talk about a lot is we have number one military-friendly institution in the state of Michigan, number two in the nation. So we have military vets that are coming back with a GI Bill that's as good as it's been since World War II and saying, I want to do a degree here. Mm -hmm. I want to come and be part of this cohort. And I know I'm going to get a great experience because of its ranking. The second one I talk about an awful lot is social mobility. Our students exit the university with greater propensity to do well economically in life compared to when they entered the university. And we're nationally acclaimed for that. I think that's part of what makes us a unique and interesting place that we help you get to where you want to be. We help you break through the glass ceiling. And that's part of the fun of watching. Yeah, I, I love watching you smile yeah, while yeah, you're talking. Yeah, like, like, I, I started smiling yeah, while you were talking yeah, as well. It's, it's yeah, really cool. It is fun. It's, it's kind of like what you're doing it all for. It's like right. what this experience is for. It's yeah. so great. Well, listen, thanks for having coffee. Thank you. This has been awesome. Thanks for Thank being you here. for having the college yeah. tour here. Yeah. Um, your energy, your excitement, it's palpable. And, um, you know, the students here are, are really lucky to have you as our president. Well, I'm really lucky to work with them every day. Every day is not perfect, yeah. but lots of them are. And that makes a big difference in life. Yeah, that's awesome. yeah. All right, well, cheers. Thank you. Thank cheers. You. All right, we'll see you next time, everyone.